All right, here we got a uh, roller block on a budget. <laughs> this is the 880 block. There we go, 880. Okay, so this was uh, a, a block I picked up on uh, Craigslist. Um, supposedly had about 200k on it. But it was well taken care of. Um, as you can see, this is a zero block. So all I did was honed it. Bunch of crap in there. Got to clean it out still. Scraping off the head gasket and a bunch of junk went in there. There's a crank. It's going to have to be turned. Plastic timing cover. It's got to go. Pistons. Got to be cleaned up and put some new rings on them. Um, I got a couple of good, uh, 062 heads. I checked the valve seats on them and they actually look pretty good. I'm still going to, um, go in there and clean it all up. I took the, uh, the retainers. And I grinded them. I don't know if you can see the grind marks on them. I grinded about 30 thousandths off of them. You can see where the, uh, the, the locks sit at. This is what it looked like before. There's, there's not much. I didn't really take that much material off of them. Just you can see where it's kind of beveled there. I kind of just flattened it out. It was about 30 thousandths. I'll replace the seals. I got the, the I think they're called Manly. Manly or Maui or whatever. They look actually identical to the original equipment. Um, I will be replacing the springs. I'm going to get the... Uh, Z28 springs, they're good for a mild lift, you know. The lift that's going to be on this would be like a 450 uh, on the exhaust. The intakes would be like 430. No, nothing, you know, ex extreme. It's basically a, a lift that you would, uh, a cam that you would put in a, like an off-road truck or something like that, a good torquer cam. It'll also be good for, you know, Doing burnouts around town. Um, once it hits about 5,500 RPMs, it starts to die out. So it's not going to be a race car. No way. Um, so. There's another block. Did for somebody else. That's the old generation Gen 1 with the hydro cam in it. Hydraulic flat tappy cam. Um. That was kind of a budget deal. Just some flat top pistons. Um, mild cam. RV cam, whatever. That engine actually had these uh, these cam op heads on it. So, yeah, they're actually a good set of heads. I'll probably see if I can pawn them off on somebody on uh, Craigslist. But anyways, so here's a couple things you need to do. There's no hole right here. So in order to, to get a hole for your coolant bypass, you're going to have to drill it out. And you're going to have to do, go in pretty deep. You can feel right behind it. It's got like, I don't know, like inch and a quarter of material. Just solid cast. So you got to drill that out so you'll have a, a coolant bypass. I'm also going to drill a couple of holes in the... Uh, in the thermostat, um, you know, I don't, I don't want it to uh, run hot or anything like that. So I'll drill a couple of holes. Um, I'm gonna end up getting rid of. With, I'm not gonna hook up the heater. So I will be running a a, 
a hose from here into the water pump. So that will be an additional bypass. And just to cover all bases. So I'll have the bypass in the water pump. I will have the bypass in the block. And I'll have the holes, two small holes drilled out in the thermostat. Just to make sure that we don't get any air trapped on top of the engine. So, okay, another thing here is, is if you want to use the old school type um, timing chain cover, you're going to have to go in there and tap this out. And you're going to want to use a couple of different taps. See, this tap here kind of got threads all the way to the end. And these are like ones to start it. Because when you're drilling these out, you only got maybe three quarters of an inch before you 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 cut into the uh, uh, the coolant uh, uh, passage, whatever. So, and then you're gonna want to put some short little uh, half inch bolts on it. That's about 0.6 right there. Maybe a little more, maybe 0.6 and a quarter. 0.5 inch length here. So you want to make sure that it threads all the way down. You want to make sure that you get rid of there's no gap here Feels pretty solid. It's not like you're really gonna put that much pressure on it. You only torque those to about maybe 18 foot-pounds If that just a little better than hand tight So you're gonna to have to drill it out right here and right here You're gonna to have to drill this out here so you can use the old-school uh, water pump on it and um, Electric fuel pump. You're going to have to go with the electric fuel pump because it's all blocked off right there. Well, that about covers it. Good luck with your uh, Vortec build.